Welcome everyone to today's webinar. It's great to see so many of you joining us. We'll give everybody a few seconds to log in. Let's make sure that everybody can join us. Once again, welcome. Uh, during this webinar, we will share with you the background and details of the new CCC Blockchain Foundation certification. My name is Joey van Kuilenburg. I'm a marketing manager at CCC, and joining me today are Sherry Jacob, the author of the Blockchain Foundation program, and Marco Laughlin, general manager of the CCC. They will further introduce themselves in a minute. Before I hand over to Mark and Sherry, two household items. You can ask us anything by using the control panel. It should be on your lower right corner. Uh, we will try to answer as many of the questions as possible at the end of the webinar. For the ones we cannot answer, if we're limited in time, we will address them via email. There will be a recording available. We'll share it with you tomorrow. So that's 24 hours after the webinar ends. The email goes out. It has the recording in it. If you can go to the next slide, Mark. Today's agenda is as follows. We'll talk about the CCC. Then we'll introduce uh, you to blockchain, what it is and how it can help the business. We'll go about uh, the certification, working with the CCC, and then we'll end with the questions. That being said, it is now time to hand over the controls to Mark and Sherry so they can introduce themselves. Um, Mark, let's start with you. Thanks, Joey. Hello, everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening um, to everybody joining today's session, wherever you are around the globe as we launch our official blockchain course and certification. And we'll also mention a little bit about digital ready professionals. As Joey has mentioned, my name is Marco Lachlan. I'm the managing director of the CCC, the Cloud Credential Council, and um, I'll be facilitating with Joey today. A big thank you to Joey and Sherry for joining us. So as Joey mentioned, we're going to provide some insights into the need for developing digital ready professionals. We'll keep that to the end because more importantly today, we, you know, under development throughout 2018, it's new to CCC. We're formally launching our blockchain foundation course and accreditation and that's what we're going to cover in detail so that's not enough for me just for now because i want to just bring in sherry for a very brief introduction and then we'll take you through the rest of today's session so sherry thank you mark and joey for the introduction and giving me the opportunity to talk on this uh, webinar uh, good morning good afternoon good evening everyone who is actually joining this this webinar all around the globe uh, my name is Sherry Jacob. I'm actually the author of the Blockchain Foundation course. Uh, we were, we were, when we were actually in the process of understanding about what's the blockchain, how do we need to build it? Uh, we used, we used blockchain as uh, one of our, the new technologies to be used. And with, I had the uh, opportunity of working with uh, blockchain for the last couple of years, and I actually teamed up with. CCC to give the experience and the exposure that I have in this field to build this course. So that's a short introduction about myself and we were looking forward to talk to all of you guys. Fantastic, Sherry. Thank you very much. You're one of our esteemed um, authors now and experts at the CCC. Thank you for, for joining us. Now, as you can see, um, you know, the, the CCC, we a few notes on us. We empower organizations and IT professionals in this transformation journey and this journey of digital. Um, the portfolio itself has been designed to upskill individuals, IT professionals and organizations to understand and to take advantage of all these new and emerging digital technologies. And we tend to look at it from the business side um, because a lot of the vendors will look at that from the technology side, which is fine. Uh, the C again, the CCC portfolio is vendor neutral one of our unique points and this you know this allows us to provide an overall view of how these new technologies should work for business and more importantly how they can deliver business results required by the organization and blockchain is uh, the latest member to to this uh, portfolio so you can see from here we're digital sorry we're a global community organization um, as we mentioned we empower uh, individuals, IT professionals and organizations on that digital transformation journey. And the entire portfolio from the CCC 
It's vendor neutral certification, and it includes uh, clouds, big data, Internet of Things, and now we're introducing blockchain to that. So it's becoming very comprehensive. We're looking at all these new and emergent digital technologies, but generally from the business perspective and the business results perspective, which is an interesting angle that we've taken, and uh, it's, it's proven to be uh, very successful. Um, now with that, I'm going to hand back over to Sherry uh, for a look into blockchain in a little bit more detail. And after Sherry's session, I'll take you through the um, accreditation uh, for blockchain, the, the, the course accreditation itself. So Sherry, um, get you to come back in. You can uh, get me to drive the slides for you there. Thanks, Mark. So... So the biggest so the biggest question that we usually have and we actually go into is what is blockchain? So even before we get into what the blockchain is, the first the first biggest commodity that we actually look into is we hear about a lot about the the Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is being used as a currency. So just to get into before we get into the Bitcoin and talking about that is we just want to take a short view about how is the history of money evolved over the years? So if you if we all look into the way how the it where the business started, it was there was commodities being exchanged like you uh, commodities were exchanged in a barter system where you give one product for another. Eventually, that got actually moved into um, a coin and a currency moment where that was being used as a medium of exchange eventually which actually everything went into credit cards and debit cards and gift cards which is what we have been seeing in the last couple of years but now we are hearing for the new latest mode of currency which is called as cryptocurrency which is not plastic not paper but it's some point of a software and it's somewhere sitting in a bank account or it's been in some place where it's actually been used for a mode of transaction so that's the overall short view about how money is actually being evolved as a value generator for a commodity trade. Mark, next slide, please. So, coming into coming into this the the money the money which is being looked into, how we can look at, how we need to look is in an, any transaction. One of the biggest thing is somebody keeps record of what's what's the what how is the transaction happening. So. In a, in a common accounting term, we call that as ledger. So a ledger has, how is the money coming inside or how is it going outside? So that's properly been list, written down and there's a centralized body who actually looks into it. So when, when, I, when, we look at, when we look into the ledgers, we actually find out there's like three kinds of ledgers which, which can be used. The first one is the distributed. A distributed ledger means you have, you have one, you have the transaction or the log which is being written and everybody who is there in a network can actually look at the, can actually see what the ledger is or anyone can look, read, write, or just pass on. So that's something which is what we call as a distributed ledger. The second one is a centralized. Centralized ledger, there's only one ledger. Every, anyone can actually look into that. There's only, cent, the centralized body is the only people who can actually do any updates to it or who can actually give the permission for somebody so it's controlled centrally so that's how a centralized ledger looks like and the last one is decentralized decentralized would go in a mode that it is actually multi it's owned by multiple people there's multiple power centers there's going to be multiple control centers and in such a way that it's actually a subset of the Distributed system. So the distributed system is completely open to everyone. But over here in decentralized, you have the power centers being defined in in small smaller pockets. Uh, next slide, please. So what's so what is a blockchain? So that's the biggest question that we are trying to answer through this course. What we what what blockchain is? It's actually a it's actually a linked list of blocks. So what happens is uh, the blockchain actually works on a decentralized ledger where what happens is anybody who does a transaction actually is actually, uh, inc actually included into a block and the block actually is passes on the information within the network and within the network everybody knows what's the transaction all about. So in other words, in other words, if I redefine what, what I redefine is 
blockchain is actually a chain of people connected or computers connected to a system who actually trust completely between each other. And any transaction or any action that has been required is actually being moved. The, the, the data or the transaction is moved within the system in a trusted mode. So that's what a blockchain is all about. Uh, next slide, please. So one of the big, so one of a couple of the biggest facts that we are hearing in today's market is all about is is blockchain and how important it is and is the is the organization ready for it. So the couple of the couple of things that we are seeing right now and the reason why we are look we're, we're looking into this whole concept is because blockchain has blockchain has actually been looked by industries really seriously. They really understand the value about implementing the system and seeing how this can actually save time and money for the organization. In long, in if in a, in any in so as of now, if you look at like the biggest the, the biggest place where it's being used is in the supply chain. So you don't have a centralized board, a centralized organization who is actually holding everything. Everybody in the everybody in the network network is trusted, and that's how that's how this that's how the transaction and the trust is being so in short there's like there's like 90% of the major american and european banks been exploring about it so if I, in other words like jp morgan has has come up with their, their own blockchain coin last week uh, where they were where it's been it's been actually given as a another mode of currency to do the transaction, which is very similar to block, which is very similar to Bitcoin. So the long story short is, this is actually an this is an evolving evolutioning technology where industries are using it, and from a technology perspective, we have new career opportunities being built, where people are actually trying to be developers, they're trying to be the the traders and etc. Uh, next slide, please. So we just wanted to take a little more emphasis into what what are the career changes that we are looking into. Now, where we see that over here right now, the biggest is like let's take the government sector. Think that there is no there is like no middleman in between. Like you can act anybody who is there in that blockchain world can actually be into the trusted network, and they can actually see how a transaction happens. So. So for anybody, so what we are trying to what we are trying to understand is from a career perspective, anybody who knows about blockchain can actually be in the process of building the system, or they can be actually be a user of the system, or they could be one of the one of the consensus uh, or the miner in the system who can actually say that yeah whatever transaction is saying is right or wrong. So that's one of the areas which we see makes a lot of sense. Second one is there's a lot of startup ideas being evolved. So there's there's there are organizations. There are there are organizations as well as there are entrepreneurs who are actually coming up, coming up with concepts and ideas where they wanted to build a blockchain service which can be made for the public or as a private network where they can actually add in into the system. Uh, the other the other one is actually the industry. So industries are right now is actually in the process of building to the building blockchain systems so that. It can be it can be used for improving their efficiency of their operations. So, anyone who actually knows blockchain, the coding, who knows the concept, who can actually integrate the different the different players or st stakeholders into this, their blockchain, that's right now where we see the career and tech firms. So tech so right now the protocols and blockchain is still an evolving technology. There are new new ideas which is being come up on a every on an everyday basis. So tech firms are actually taking the lead of improvising the solution and trying to make up come up with new protocols, new technology, now new techniques and process and programs to actually evolve the evolve this this technology and improvise it to the next level. So Understanding blockchain would actually help to get your foundation, get the foundation right. Understand what the business needs are. Understand how the tech, how how can the programming be done, and think about how to take it from one level to the next level. The next slide. 
Great. So um, I'll just hold it there for a second, Sherry. There's some sure. questions that have come in. Uh, no, we normally leave them till the end. These are too interesting. I want to actually ask you one or two because they relate to what you've just said there. Um, JP Morgan last week uh, introduced some kind of, uh, as you said, cryptocurrency. Uh, I even saw that myself and said, wow, that's 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 fascinating. Um, but it lines one of these questions that have come up here. Um, uh, sorry, the question is in, in the lines of will these cryptocurrencies or are these cryptocurrencies likely to replace traditional currencies? I guess that could be either now or sometime in the future. Do you have any view on that? Uh, that's a great question, Mark. The way how I look in the way how I look into this one is it depends it's I'm not gonna say a yes or a no. It's actually it is the way how the currencies are gonna be accepted by the by the industries and the and the end user. As mm -hmm. of today as of today the Bitcoin is not being fully being accepted. The there is a big there is a big work pending in educating people about the, the the advantages of blockchain so people can start actually accepting it eventually if if it is at the same adoption rate as, as what it is happening right now in the next 10 in the next 10 years i see blockchain taking over the currency mode all over because to answer your question there are there are countries like japan um, who is in the process of actually having converting the currency into cryptocurrency altogether? Mm -hmm. There are, but there are countries like Venezuela who is not in the like they're completely blocked blockchain altogether. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there has to be an adoption which is like understood everywhere by the industry, by the government, by the end user, which can eventually help the cryptocurrency to be there. Is going to very similar to the paper currency or the credit cards that we have today. Yeah. And yeah. the long story and the long story short is credit cards were not accepted one. It took them ten years to twelve years yeah. to actually being accepted all over there. So we have to go through the journey to actually be in a process to say, is it gonna replace or not? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, and no, I agree with you. And I know that from the uh, credit card adoption when you look at those case studies over the years. There's just one other one I'm going to ask you here, and then we'll park the rest till, till later on. Because you spoke earlier about trust and transparency. And even my understanding of blockchain, and you know, when we were developing this course with you, again, uh, for me, that kept coming up. Um, somebody's asked, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's a cheeky question, but I think it's a genuine question anyway. And uh, when you think of trust and transparency, they're asking, um, is or can blockchain applications be actually used for criminal activities? Okay, so, oh yeah, so that's another great question. And I, I answer this question to a lot of my, you know, a lot of my talk shows. So yeah. one of the, so the biggest, the biggest reasons why we always hear like block when the moment we hear about Bitcoin, we hear about it's being hacked or it's being used in the black market. Yeah. That's the biggest reason why we come up with this, we come up with this notion that blockchain, oh sorry, Bitcoin is actually or blockchain or the cryptocurrency is only being used in the, in the, in the criminal activities. No, that's mm -hmm. not the only reason. We have we have use cases where Bitcoin is being used for for and for actually being used in commodity trading. There yeah. are use cases where Bitcoin is being used for transactions. There is like uh, there is actually in the pro there is organizations or there is actually a new upcoming industry in the U.S. where Bitcoin ATM centers are being built. And in India, there was recently a Bitcoin a Bitcoin transaction uh, an ATM center being opened in Mumbai where what they were trying to do is like, you can actually go put your credit card and buy Bitcoins. Yep. So yeah. where people are in the process, if they're in the process of actually adopting it, right now the bad notion is being heard, like, you know, it's only being used for criminal, but that's not the case. Eventually, eventually as we said, as people start understanding how important or the, the, the cryptocurrency is part of our system, this notion mm -hmm. would move out. Good, good. I guess it's like any technologies, it generally is created for the good, but sometimes it can be used for the opposite. And it goes back to the trust and the transparency. And I think the way these ledgers work give you a bit more openness and transparency um, than before. So that's the positive of this, let's say, newer technology. Fantastic, Sherry. Here, yeah. Any final thoughts, sir? Yeah, that's it. 
Good, good. Fantastic. Sherry, that's a good oversight there on um, the blockchain itself. So I'm just going to take back for a couple of minutes and go through the uh, the program itself um, for our audience and introduce them a bit more to the uh, certification and a few other notes from the CCC. So about the um, certification, the blockchain certification program introduces the business capabilities of blockchain, the advantages, key terminology, but also, you know, gets you to think about monetization models, as we're saying, how can you use this? Sherry mentioned there about using blockchain, uh, not so much in fintech, uh, as opposed to supply chain, and how that could lead to some kind of, I guess, monetization model for organizations, what it does there, so very interesting use. Uh, the blockchain, you know, as we look at this, is an absolute growth market. Uh, Sherry's mentioned it's in the early days yet, but still those who get in early get competitive advantage. And we know that organizations are only getting started with this. You know, we mentioned fintech, look at supply chain, but as you said, blockchain can have so many financial and non-financial uses. Uh, for many industries, blockchain has the potential to deliver significant competitive advantage to organizations over the coming years. And also, I think, to challenge well-established businesses. And that's one of the things Sherry has looked at with this course as to how organizations can understand these technology, this technology, this blockchain technology, and hopefully figure out how they either gain competitive advantage or keep competitive advantage from changes in the marketplace. Um, as you said, we're still in the early days, but organizations really can't wait to see what their competitors develop using blockchain and business models. And that's what the course is aimed uh, at helping organizations. Um, at the CCC, we have different levels of certification. Uh, we have foundation level certification, which provides a base level of understanding and comprehension of a subject. In today's topic, it's blockchain. Foundation level certifications are developed at a Bloom's level one and two and are typically run over two days. Uh, uh, there's a question, uh, exam at the end of that, 40 questions, we'll look at that in a moment. The professional level accreditations provide more in-depth learning experience and they're developed to uh, Bloom's level three and four and generally run over uh, three days. And we certainly have, um, we currently have a certified blockchain professional course um, under development. So today we're launching the Blockchain Foundation course and its um, accreditation and certification. Um, and for the Blockchain Foundation course, uh, we have no prerequisites for this course. As we said, it's emerging technologies. We want businesses and organizations and people, technical and non-technical, to come into the classroom and to understand the blockchain technologies and what it does and the potential for the business. And we also recognize that there's a lot of technical people that would not have any blockchain background as well. It's so new and emergent. So there's no prerequisites in coming into the blockchain foundation. You can see here on the slide, the blockchain foundation, it provides a well-rounded understanding of the key blockchain concepts, the blockchain technologies in use behind that, benefits, and critical success factors are very important in the CCC world is um, where we put in real world examples of the use of blockchain. We believe that's very important and Sherry has found, he's even mentioned some of those really good use cases. Um, the blockchain foundation, the various modules include uh, an overview on blockchain, applications and uses of blockchain, so again, where, where you can use this, uh, w w what we've called the working of blockchain demystified, and at the CCC, it's where we help you understand the context of blockchain. It's not about learning a definition about what blockchain is, it's about understanding the context so it then can be demystified. Um, crypt crypto e economics, which is um, a, a good section, blockchain alliances, and then the future, looking forward to the increasing potential of, uh, of blockchain. You'll see here the target audience, uh, first bullet point tech, technolo te technology people, and then address non-technical people, business, you know, people from the business, from the organization itself, uh, it's very varied. There are no prerequisites. It's a two day, it's a classroom or virtual classroom delivery. Uh, at the end of the two days, there is a one hour exam, multi-choice question. 40 questions and you need 26 or more uh, to pass. Uh, and that will then achieve you the CCC uh, Blockchain Foundation 
um, cert certificate. But it will also, it's more than just a certificate, it's the knowledge about what blockchain is. And as one of Sherry's modules has said, it's demystifying that, understanding what it is, what the potential is, and then um, how an organization and individuals can benefit from the blockchain. Just a few more details you can read from the slide here. Learners cover the following throughout the foundation. The history and origin of blockchain is fascinating where this has come from. The features and components of it so we understand what it is. The different types of blockchain. The different uh, blockchain applications and those use cases, very important. And a lot of these are non-technical, uh, non-fintech use cases, really good. Um, the workings of blockchain, the concept of mining and how it's done, I'm fascinated, always fascinated by that. Um, and as you can see, cryptocurrencies and bitcoins and things like that. So quite a very expansive um, module for the uh, the two days. Is it relevant? You know, blockchain is one of the newer and emergent digital technologies. You know, we've had cloud, you might say cloud's not new, but organizations are still struggling to actually use cloud the way they should. We've got big data. Again, it's not entirely new, but, you know, there's other digital technology is creating more and more data, which then needs to be stored perhaps in the cloud and then analyzed. IoT, again, new emerging domain, new opportunities, solving problems, generating vast amounts of data. And then we've got blockchain in this pool of emergent technologies, which has huge potential, requires processing, data storage, analytics, some different to those previous cases, but What's true is blockchain technology is changing how some businesses are run today, but it will change how many businesses are run tomorrow and in the future. As Sherry said, supply chains can change, not overnight, but supply chains can ultimately change with this type of technology. Um, and even supporting new and challenger businesses. Um, so these new emergent businesses are coming to market quicker, faster, and sometimes better than traditional thinking, they're, they're traditional thinking competitors. So blockchain is relevant, even if you don't think it's relevant to your organization or your customer's organization. It's very relevant to understand what it is, what it has the potential to do, how it is likely to disrupt the industry that your yourself or your customers are in today, and how you try and defend against that by actually doing something with the blockchain and the technologies that are there. Uh, from a career path perspective, we have lots of these at CCC. We're just showing one particular one here, um, showing a developer, perhaps coming in at Blockchain Foundation, developer, IT, you know, in a number of years, um, but doesn't have any bl blockchain experience or background uh, because this stuff is so new. So foundation would be good. Um, and then you can work through this up to the professional level as well. You know, you can read that there. The Blockchain Foundation, we believe, is one, an essential certification for business owners and for technical uh, professionals. You know, what are the benefits that blockchain can bring? How do you leverage blockchain to disrupt your industry? How can we get the technical department thinking about solving business solutions, you know, solving business problems with this type of technology? Can blockchain help digitize the value stream in an organization? Very interesting. Um, and how can blockchain perhaps make processes, you know, more efficient? So the question is, what does the organization and its IT function know? And there's various paths like this to move uh, various IT professionals on that journey. And just a few notes on it there as well. So that's the session on the, the blockchain itself, uh, the certification. There's a lot more information on our website and then through um, our courseware providers. Um, uh, so if that's, that's the main part of the information. About the CCC, just a couple of notes. Um, so just a few words on our training partner ecosystem, and then we'll be back for some questions. Um, so as you can see here, any member can join or contribute to the development of CCC programs um, in building new syllabus, white papers. We have an ambassador program. Uh, we have a new program, which I'll mention in a moment. Uh, from a career perspective, the portfolio is looked at the is looks at these um, emergent digital technologies and looks at them from the business perspective, solving that business problem and coming up with solutions. And from a training provider perspective, from growing your business through uh, the portfolio adoption.
The CCC offers, um, you know, easy easy schemes. We have associate members which support the CCC uh, in an intellectual IP or marketing capacity. We have ambassadors, forerunners, and members. But also at the moment, just a quick mention that we are expanding our CCC expert panel. Um, Sherry is one of the newer members into the, the panel, um, having developed this course. But um, we have uh, more and more people joining the CCC expert panel to bring in their expertise and to talk a lot about these emergent technologies. So we invite digital experts to join us, to support us, to provide thought leadership on behalf of and with the CCC in the digital domains, which covers cloud, big data, IoT, blockchain, AI, any of these. So if you or someone you know or some of your customers would like to get involved, just contact us here at the CCC and we'll be in touch and provide more details. Or if you want to know more about any of these schemes, as we said, our authorized training partners, courseware partners, or exam service providers, if you need to know more details, just get in touch and we will provide you with the relevant details. The requirements for training deliveries, we've, um, you know, just a few notes on this. We really simplify this over the last year. And uh, you can see through these requirements, we aim to ensure that the products and training provided, you know, to delegates uh, and learners remains at a consistent and high level expected from the CCC, you know, which is always expected from the, the learner. But it's, it's fairly simple. So training is mandatory for all CCC programs. Um, the partners work with the accreditized uh, courseware. Um, notes on the exams are as part of training delivery. Deliveries can be classroom, virtual, e-learning, or self-study, and um, and so forth. So just a few notes there. If you need any more details on that, do get in touch. The CCC also is running uh, currently the Digital Skills Survey 2019. I mentioned on this, we'll be analysing this data and providing various reports and insights throughout the year. Um, you access this from the CCC website. Just go to resources, um, and the Digital Skills Survey is in there. Or typically, if you go to the CCC website, wait for about five seconds, you'll be presented with the digital skill survey. So just click on that. So we encourage you, please fill in the survey yourselves, but also use the survey as a, what we suggest, a means to contact your customers with news on the, our latest CCC initiative, the digital skill survey. Um, ask your customers to complete this. This is as relevant as the people and customers that fill it in and will give us some really good insights. Um, People who are completing the survey will get uh, some of the insights as we develop them into reports throughout the year. So we encourage you um, uh, and your your your, your uh, clients as well to go in, complete the survey, and then um, help us analyze the market there. We'll do that and issue some reports. Um, final note here, throughout 2019, the CCC is running the Are You Digital Ready campaign. Uh, the answer to this question and how to get digital ready is supported by the CCC portfolio, which covers cloud, big data, IoT, and now blockchain. So keep um, an eye out for more news on what we're doing in this space, uh, this digital ready campaign, and feel free to use this message with your customers and help them on their digital uh, journey and the part that the CCC plays in that journey. So. I'm going to bring Joey back in here as well, and Sherry. Uh, we're coming to the end of today's launch session. Um, I think it's been very informative. Sherry's given us uh, an overview of blockchain. We've given you an overview of the modules and the content that's in there. And I'm sure we've got probably a couple of questions still to get through. So Joey, I'll just pass back to you if there's anything um, we need to go through from a questions perspective. Uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, and thank you, Sherry, for explaining the certification. Um, yeah, there is a, a couple of questions coming in. We are a bit tight for time. I selected a few. There's more coming in. Most are for you, Mark. What is required for my organization to start offering the blockchain course? You went over the slide, but you went over it fairly quickly. And this one is coming in multiple times. So maybe it's, uh, it's a good idea to cover this one. Sure, yeah, it, it's fairly simple there. I thought that was going to be a blockchain question there. I was going to try and see how I dealt with that. Yeah, register with the CCC. Um, you can do that via our website if you're not registered already. And then um, uh, work through our course providers, courseware providers as well uh, for materials. So again, the majority of the details is up on the website. If there's something that's missing, just use the contact us and we'll get back in touch. So it's fairly simple uh, to register and fairly simple to get hold of the official courseware. 
Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Mark. Another one. How is this different from other blockchain courses or certifications in the market? Yeah, interesting question. There is lots of different things happening out there. The one thing, key, a couple of key things at CCC, uh, our portfolio is completely vendor neutral. And um, I think Sherry was, when he, we came across CCC, very enthused about that as well. We're not only concerned with the technologies, we're concerned with looking at it from a business perspective, business solutions, solving that business problem using the latest technologies. There is mention of various technologies, Sherry has put that in, but we're vendor neutral, um, which is which is critical. Um, I've also got a wider portfolio than all these, let's say, other individual blockchain certs that are just for blockchain. As you see, uh, we look at blockchain, IoT, big data, cloud, and there's some overlap between some of those courses. Some of the, you know, how you mine blockchain could require lots of cloud compute, that kind of thing. What you do uh, with big data and analyze, you know, data uh, relates to blockchain to a point, depending on what you're using it for. So we do have an overlap like that. So we believe we're, you know, vendor neutral, uh, a wide portfolio from the CCC looking at the emergent technologies and how they work together. Uh, definitely makes sense. Thank you. That does pretty much conclude all the time we have for today. Thanks again, Mark and Sherry. And on behalf of the three of us, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Shelby. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Mark. Bye, Sherry. Thank you.